Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for the 14th. So this is for somebody, may or may not be we, be you. Uh, keep in mind that the timing is fluid. So yeah, we're gonna be doing a live here soon. Uh, just so you all know, we're gonna talk about the timing of these daily vibes in that day, in that live. It's just gonna be a chat coming up probably this weekend so anyway what do we got for the 14th Thursday the 14th or before or after whatever we're gonna get one of these and obviously there it is for an overall energy and then we're gonna use that deck right there intuition going within using silence as your tool Harnessing your inner power, becoming more spiritually awake, um, knowing, you know, you may be receiving messages of, of clarity. Maybe you're seeing something clearly and you need to trust your intuition at this time. Trust your intuition. Whatever you are being told, listen. Listen to your intuition at this time. You may be keeping quiet as you as you are receiving some sort of messages maybe you're keeping him to yourself to figure out what your next step is <laughs> oh. five of swords of course power struggles now you have to decide you have to re really think about this do you want to be right? I mean, is it about being right? Or is it about being happy? It's a struggle, right? It's a struggle. The struggle is real. What's more important? Happiness or proving yourself? Now this in reverse signifies it's time to let go of ego. <laughs> It's about happiness. Your intuition knows what I'm talking about right now. Somebody is choosing pride over happiness. Oh my God. You know, and now you have to make that right judgment call. You got to wake up. This is a wake up call. Now, this is the high priestess is about secrets. And this is about a secret being revealed. Now, you may be receiving guidance as well from the other side. So really, really pay attention. Somebody that is watching this is being poked. They're being divinely guided. Per perhaps from somebody that has already passed away. Or a spirit guide. Or something. They're being guided to follow their heart instead of their ego. Somebody is trying to hide. You see, this person's trying to hide something. Somebody is trying to hide their insecurities. Not wanting to put in effort, not wanting to do any work. 
to make something better. But there's feelings involved. Somebody is trying to hold on to what they know, what they have, not wanting to give up, you know, not wanting to give anything to, not wanting to give in, period. This is heart versus pride. You always got to see what's mirroring each other. Now, there could be a new offer coming in. There could be for some of you. There's, there could be good news coming in regards to a relationship. There could be a, a new opportunity for love. There could be some unexpected. It could be unexpected. And it could be some, some sort of welcome news. Bringing you an opportunity for love. Somebody. But you're going to have to let go of your ego to accept it. This is like an offering. It is. It is. It's an offering. Oh, goodness gracious. We have a big opportunity here. A big one. Somebody, this is, somebody has, this is a manifestation. Somebody has manifested something big. And here it is. It's something that could really last. Something that you can save. Something that you can keep. Something that is abundant. We have a new solid opportunity for happiness coming. Somebody could receive a call. Now it's kind of funny. This is a karma card and this is a karma card. In many decks this card is even labeled karma. But we all know justice is karma. We have a karmic situation here. We have some bad luck, a run of bad luck, because somebody didn't act with integrity. Somebody was treating another person unfairly. Didn't want to be held accountable for their actions. And now perhaps this person may be begging for another chance. I don't friggin' know. Um, this is begging and this is for a chance. So somebody may be begging for a chance after they didn't put in effort before. I mean, that could be the case for some of you. I don't know. Somebody has been left out in the cold. Maybe they've given up. Maybe it's time to give up. Maybe it's time to give up your stance. Maybe it's time to stop holding on to a really insecure situation with somebody whose pride is so big that they can't love. I mean, that could be the case for some of you, right? There could be a bigger, better opportunity here in the your spirit guides or your ancestors or somebody that has passed on is trying to get you to stop lying to yourself could go so many ways you know this is about give and take you get what you give you give what you get this is about what you deserve about bringing balance about taking that journey to balance and harmony it's about reciprocation it's about bringing balance to a situation so somebody may be wanting to give you something or they may be wanting you to give to them Oh, the Ace of Cups reversed, but it may not be emotionally available anymore. I'm not sure. This is a loss of feelings, a loss of love. It is the Ace of Cups reversed. It's like... The love is gone. The love is gone.
somebody is not emotionally content because they're not getting what they want in love. And they're not getting what they want in love because pride is in the way. There is somebody that is shutting down emotionally. They're shutting down a love connection because there was a lack of reciprocation. Somebody didn't put in effort. They were not treated fairly. They did not want to be, the person that they were dealing with did not want to be held accountable for their actions. And now they have received some sort of epiphany from somewhere that it's time to be happy. And go after a bigger, better opportunity. So I feel as though somebody is being given a chance to accept a new opportunity. If they can let go of the pride and the hurt. And finalize that last karmic cycle. This is, okay, these two are mirroring each other. This is seeking balance, and this is seeking balance. You could kind of say that this is the minor of the this major, okay? You could. Somebody's life has been unbalanced because they didn't have integrity. They didn't make the right decisions. They didn't make the right judgment calls and therefore karma has probably left them in the cold because you get what you give, right? I feel like whoever this person is that has received some sort of karmic justice may now want a chance I don't know for some of you to reconcile but it's like the love has died the love has died so I don't know who this is for <laughs> but there could be a message coming through it could be a phone call it could be any kind of message you know, some kind of apology even for some of you. Won't be for everybody. Unfortunately, I don't think it will be accepted because I think it's too late. I think the love is gone. I think the love is gone. I feel like there's a bigger, better opportunity here because who the hell wants to deal with a constant power struggle? Somebody has gone through some sort of awakening and they know that it's time to release this karma. Not put in any effort and leave this person in the cold because you get what you deserve. It's like you made your bed, now you lie in it. So anyway, I believe that for some of you, there's a message coming through. And your intuition will guide you in regards to what direction you want to take. Follow your intuition. I think that somebody is letting go of an unrequited love situation because they know that they deserve more. There's been an obstacle in the way. Somebody has been living some sort of lie. And it's like they realize, this is realize, it is. 
they realize that they can't be a victim to this circumstance anymore. And they have to put something to a complete halt. Because there's no more emotional fulfillment there. <laughs> right? So I feel like this is a very emotional time where somebody has probably been feeling like a victim and perhaps now they are realizing that they deserve so much more somebody has not been being practical not believing in their inner guide, not listening to their inner guide, allowing their negative thoughts to trap them, seriously, to trap them. Somebody has been trapped in their own thoughts about what they know that they need to do, not listening to their intuition. And because they haven't been listening to their intuition, they haven't been acting with integrity. They haven't been doing the right thing because your intuition, your inner guide tells you what you need to do. And when you don't do it, you're not acting with integrity because integrity comes from within. <laughs> and when you don't act with integrity, that's when karma steps in. So anyway, somebody has had some sort of loss because they didn't act with integrity. Now karma has come back around Oh, God. And perhaps now they are very emotional because the love has died in the, because they wasted time. Somebody thought too much. They, they, they thought about it thought, instead of taking action when they should have taken action. So I feel like somebody's lack of action... has caused another person to bury their feelings and go after what they truly deserve. So I think that because somebody has decided to stand up for themselves, somebody has decided to head in a new direction. I just want to be happy. So for some of you, you know, I really feel like today is a day of seeing the light about a karmic injustice, a karmic contract that was hindering a bigger, better opportunity. I feel like somebody is in the process of releasing a karma a karmic contract. I don't have anything to prove. I don't want to fight with you. I've got a new love offer. I'm giving my love to somebody else. That kind of thing. So anyway... somebody's going after what they deserve after holding on to a lie that's what this is same old story right somebody has a bigger better opportunity right here something somebody has manifested a new opportunity something big okay they have well, let's see what that is. Let's clarify that card. What is that Ace of Pentacles? What has somebody manifested? And it's being brought to you from above. It is. It is. Oh, God. Ah. A healing. This is, this is healing. This is manifested change. A blessing. Closure. Mm -hmm. 
somebody has been thinking and losing sleep and suffering but it looks like they have ma they have manifested they have changed they've evolved it's like they're no longer as emotionally discontent as they used to be it's like they've healed They've healed. Somebody has went through a period of healing. They've manifested. For some of you, you may have manifested somebody coming back. I'm not sure. I mean, I just got to be honest with you here. Somebody, some of you may have manifested a somebody coming back into your life. I'm just saying. Um maybe this person has changed so I, that will not resonate with every single person but for some of you you know somebody is coming back you may have manifested it and perhaps now they're coming back maybe they've changed for some of you you have manifested a new opportunity after deciding not to go back to this painful situation because this is um, a blessing a blessing is coming a blessing is coming extreme happiness this is a true blessing some sort of happiness is coming it's like a rebirth of something new we have a new a new blessing coming in we absolutely do somebody is receiving a gift from somebody a true gift somebody is receiving a gift after dealing with a really painful karmic situation now you have to make a decision you have to make a choice no shit I mean somebody has to make a choice you have this you you have to decide you have to face your fears somebody you know has been trying to avoid the truth <laughs> that's what this is somebody has been trying to avoid the truth about heart versus mind and it's like now you're going to be presented with the opportunity to accept a love offer or not that's what this is so I feel like there is a love offer coming in but you're going to have to make a decision whether you want it or not this could be somebody that wants a reconciliation with you it could be for somebody some of you it could be somebody brand new but you're still hurting over this pain of the past you know there's still an obstacle here with the eight of swords as well there's an obstacle in the way and it's painful you know there's pain can you release can you forgive the past so that you can accept this new opportunity it's a terrible injustice to let something so good slip away because of fear because of avoidance because you're trying to uh, protect yourself from getting hurt so I don't know. This could go multiple ways. Somebody is absolutely receiving a gift, a blessing. Something that you can actually hold on to. Something that you can touch. Maybe this person has been saving up to bring you this gift, whatever it is. Um... But this Ace of Cups reversed. Now, this could be this person is very emotionally discontent. Maybe they're afraid that they will be rejected. They're afraid that their love offer will be denied. That could be the case. That could be why this Ace of Cups. They're afraid that, you know, their their request for for your hand or whatever it is will be denied. But it looks like this could lead to a lot of happiness. It could. It could. So I don't know who this reading is for, but it looks to me as though somebody is going to 
have to make a judgment call in regards to do you want to be happy or not? Do you do you want this new opportunity or not? That's your judgment call. <coughs> Somebody's gonna they're gonna tell their true feelings. That's what's gonna happen here. Oh my goodness. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. This could be the one. It could be. Your intuition knows if it is. So my advice today is to just follow your intuition. Maybe somebody from the other side is saying, just do it. Just do it. This could be the one. You know who it is. When I say this could be the one, somebody comes to your mind. Don't deny it. Somebody has been denying their intuition. You know, you know who the one is. Follow your heart. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. That's what this reading is about. So, ask yourself this question. Who is the one? Who is the first person that comes to your mind? That's the answer. Don't deny it. Follow your heart. It could lead to a lot of happiness, a lot of growth. It could bring peace and harmony and balance back to your life. But you have to take action, and somebody hasn't been taking action. With the Knight of Wands reversed and the Knight of Pentacles reversed, lack of action is causing love to slip away. End of story. Good luck.